We're about to try deep fried butter. For 24 days of the year, hundreds of thousands of people every day flock to this notorious event, spanning over 270 acres with a heritage of a millennium, featuring the most deadly foods in America and some of the most delicious. Some may call this heaven for foodies and thrill seekers alike. But with countless vendors and thousands of items, you couldn't see it all or eat it all, could you? Well, that is exactly what one man intends to do, to defy the laws of the universe and eat the whole fair in 24 hours or die trying. Where I am right now, if you know, you know, I'm here at the one and only Little Big Tex. And there is a big Tex, which we're gonna show you guys. We have made it to the Texas State Fair, the biggest state fair in all of America. And what are we doing today? We are going to be eating. The Texas State Fair is known for many, many, many things, including food, including its massiveness. This place is countless, countless, countless acres being its rides, its entertainment. We have dog races, we have pig races. We have everything you can imagine. We got vendors galore. We're gonna try to eat the whole fair and adapt my friend. You hungry? Let's go eat. All right, everybody, so we have made it to the, well, one of the food areas. This place is massive. This is one of the most known. This is called Admiral Nimitz. Admiral Nimitz, that's kind of the road. First stop, we have the Gourmet Royale deep fried lasagna roll. So really interesting. I'm also joined by my good friend, Mr. Oscar. Oscar has been a longtime follower, longtime friend of the channel, and uh, as a Dallas local, so glad you're able to join me here today. He knows the fair very well, so having that local kind of insight is very helpful today because this thing is massive. Essentially, it is a legit lasagna wrapped in a cheese and herb kind of crust, deep fried, served with zucchini fries and a marinara. So, Oscar. Hey, I'm ready to try it. Ready to eat some let's food? Let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna take this first bite. Let's kind of pile on in here. All right, guys, let's try this bite. Looks interesting. I've never had deep fried lasagna roll. And let's give it a try. Mm, that herb. Herb and cheese crispiness on the outside. Good flavor. It's definitely savory. Oh, the crunchiness. Yeah, a little bit of a crunch. On top of that, super soft middle lasagna marinara. It's good. No complaints. What do you think? No complaints. And why we chose this place is because they were a finalist for the Big Tex Choice Awards, which essentially is a contest that all these restaurants enter for a new innovative item. Yes. So like this year was the deep fried lasagna roll. Never been done before. Only available here. Made it over to our next stop. This is the Midway area. Lots of rides, more food to galore. This is the oldest, I think, in a, like original, most known spot actually in the whole fair. This is the Fletcher's Hot Dogs. They are apparently the birthplace of the corny dog, not a corn dog. Apparently the corn dog was birthed as a corny dog and that's what Fletcher's has here. So Oscar, let's get a corn dog. Let's try it. Fletcher's corny dog, not to be mistaken for a corn dog, a corny dog. I'll show you, looks really cool. Mine actually kind of looks like a chicken. There is a big debate whether you put ketchup or mustard on your corn dog. Let me know down below what you like. Give me a ketchup or a mustard. I'm gonna try it as is. Maybe that's like the most traditional way. Crispy, doughy, perfection kind of thing happened all in there. But uh, we saw them dip them themselves. So I think there's only one way to do it. Let's just take a bite. Let's see how deep this hot dog Frank rolls. Let's go. That is delicious. Not gonna lie. Guys, the spices in there. I mean, the breading is pretty like breading, but that flavor on that hot dog inside, woo, absolutely delicious. I'm actually, it's really nicely spiced. There's just a little spice in there. I don't know if we can see that, but guys, I had the Fletcher's, the original corn meat dog. I mean, I agree with you. I like the spices and you're right, the dough, but it's good. It has an amazing taste. I highly recommend it if you're here at the state fair. I'll try it with some ketchup, guys, just because I do love ketchup. You know what? Just need it. Alright, everybody, so we have the funnel cake queso burger. This is actually a 2017 winner of that Big Tex Award. 
So I'm super excited to try it. We have not only the crispy funnel cake, the powdered sugar covered, but we have so much gushy looking cheese, bacon, beef. I'm excited. Crispy funnel cake, cheesy burger, bacon, lots of queso cheese. Now this looks actually really cool. I'm not gonna lie, I've never had a, I don't think I've ever had a burger made of funnel cake. So donuts and stuff. Let's do this. Cheers. Oh my gosh, that is really delicious. Mm -hmm. That bacon, that burger is really rich. That cheese and the, must be the powdered sugar. It's really sweet. That's a must try. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I'm so glad we're friends because I love food. Uh -huh. And this is an amazing, amazing taste. Amazing, guys. It's an explosion of different flavors. Yeah. From sweet, savory. Honestly, must try. I forgot to mention the name, that the burger and this Deep Fried BLT, which was a finalist for this year, um, was actually at Pizza by the Slice. There's the official name. Originally, I thought it was gonna be the whole sandwich deep fried, but really it's kind of like this crust, which is the cheese, the bacon in it, which looks really, really delicious. And then they put the mayonnaise, the bacon, lettuce, and tomato actually on afterwards, which I think is a good call. Deep fried lettuce and tomato, eh, not so sure. Let's be honest. <laughs> No one eats sandwiches with uh, forks, but we're doing it today. Cheers, anyway, cheers my friend. Mm. That's surprisingly really nice. That crisp, kind of fresh tomato, a little bit of lettuce, and that mayonnaise. It's a traditional BLT flavor. Where I'm getting the deep fried is really like an extra rich cheesiness, like gooey, gooey cheese, the bacon. I'm actually impressed. I didn't know really what to expect with that. I see why that was the finalist. Innovative and very, very tasty. I definitely agree with you. I, I honestly cannot add anything more. Yeah. It's very good. Check this out. This is absolutely insane. Jumbo corn dog. Jumbo at Juicy's. Look how big this is. This is nuts. Get your mind out of the gutter, everybody. Look at the friggin' size of that, like, oh my Lord. That is, uh, you want a big corn dog? Juicy's. Wow. It's actually a sausage, but of course we're gonna try it. Let's give it a bite. This is huge. It is super peppery. Cooked perfectly. Mm. A sweet batter, a savory sausage, super fatty. Guys, that's the BM. And while we're here, guys, I'm gonna try some of their barbecue chicken. I think some real food is needed. So I got some like rotisserie style barbecue chicken. We have their barbecue sauce here. You normally come sauce, I want it on the side. Exactly what I wanted. Some delicious, non deep fried, good tasting food. Next, we are outside the Magnolia Beer Garden. So they actually have like a legit established beer garden. Uh, in addition, like lots of seating, in addition to this being the whatever. So this was a finalist this year. This is called the Holy Biscuit, which is like egg, I think bacon, brisket. I love brisket, guys. We are in Texas on a biscuit. So let's see what it's all about. Holy Biscuit, a finalist this year, looks really, really good. House made, you know, fluffy biscuit. We have deep fried pickles on it. We have thick cut bacon, which is also fried. We have their corn queso. We have the brisket. We have a hot honey and we have their secret sauce, which I think is brisket dripping. Huge bite and this looks heavy. Like I'm talking, this is rich. Really, really, really rich and a good size, everybody. Not gonna lie. So I'm gonna try to get a bite with everything on it right here. Cheers, everybody. Two hands. Oh my gosh, that corn queso, a lovely, lovely jalapeno in there. That hot honey, it's a delicious sweetness. You get sweet, a little spicy. That pickle, that's a nice acidity. That is absolutely delicious. That biscuit is perfectly like salty. This is another keeper, delicious. Just use two hands, everybody, that's nuts. Oscar, what'd you think? You know, I would say this is my second favorite win. 
of the day so far. Again, another explosion of taste. I feel like I'm eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner all at the same time. Win at the Texas State Fair. Everyone, and we are outside or in front of the famous Big Tex guys. This is the most famous imagery of the Texas State Fair. Basically, this guy is on storage year round. I don't know how many feet tall he is, but he is absolutely massive. And they change his clothing yearly. They got him this lovely looking blue shirt this year. Absolutely massive. I'm like hard, it's hard to even comprehend how big this guy is. But guys, big tex, big tex. The official big tex. I said big tex a lot of times, guys, but hey. Super cool to be here, everybody. So we have the Fernie's Funnel Cake. This is the original funnel cake of the Texas Fair. It's been around for 53 years. There's now like, I don't know how many stands around, a number of stands around. This is the original one, I think, or at least the most established one. So we just wanted this classic. I said, what do you recommend? She said, just plain. So it's fried dough, powdered sugar on top. This is one of Oscar's favorites. Yes, yes it is. Hey, I mean, funnel cakes, guys, fried dough, how can you go wrong? So I'm gonna reach on in. Grab a little piece, crispy dough. That powdered sugar kind of comes like a soft, almost moisture, sugary thingy thing. Mm. How's that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's very flavorful. Oh, oh my God. Woo! Okay, I'm actually super impressed. I don't know if it's just the powdered sugar or the way that sweetness is coming from that dough. It's just sweet. It is savory. I would say it's finger licking good. It is finger licking good. It is warm, it is fresh. Not gonna lie. It's worth a try. Fantastic. Oh, and they're featured on Deep Fried Dynasty, a TV show all about deep fried items here at the State Fair. Everybody, and one of my favorite things besides like everything at a fair is kettle corn and caramel corn. Right now, guys, we're at Pioneer Kettle Corn, everybody. They got some delicious looking caramel corn, some delicious kettle corn. This is one of my favorites. This is one of those things you just gotta have. And I tell you what, we're walking by, it smells so, so, so good. What's that, kettle corn? How is it? Warm caramel corn. So fresh. Yes, mm. Oh. Oh my god. The caramel is almost more like a toffee flavor, which is delicious. It's not overly sweet. There's a really nice sweetness. Try this kettle corn. Guys, I love kettle corn. If you're not familiar, sweet and salty. Mm. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Guys. Yes, hold up. Cheddar too, get you some oh cheddar Oh my in your god, life. and cheddar. Yeah, get you some cheddar in your life. All right, I'll try it, guys, only okay. because it's offering. Okay. Guys, All right, let's do it. That, that, that kettle corn, though. Yeah. Delicious. Okay. Well, I even got all over my shirt. I know you see that. <laughs> all right, man. That was fantastic. So I'm glad this was a good purchase. Kettle corn, guys. Pioneer, check it out. And they have fireworks every night, which is super cool. So we're checking out a few of these fireworks. We kind of forgot about them, so we're just kind of catching them now, but. Crazy guys, this place is awesome. All right everybody, we are officially starting. Technically it's day two, but we're still within 24 hours, guys. So today I got a few more items which I think are a little bit more like traditional Texas. I'm talking some tacos, some barbecue, but we're gonna try some crazy items like deep fried butter. Yes, deep fried butter. Apparently that food will kill you. But anyway guys, let's go have some fun, let's eat some food. Let's go see what we have to offer. The State Fair of Texas, guys, this thing is massive. It's starting to pick up. We're here bright and early. It's a little rainy today. Hopefully the rain holds off. But nonetheless, the fun happens regardless. And shout out Big Tex. Apparently you burned down one day. Let me know if you ever heard about that down below. Now let's go eat. First stop, we have Milagro and technically Chimichurri. So we have Argentinian and a taco spot right here. Um, so this place is actually featured on Guy Fieri, uh, the Food Network, which is really, really cool. We are going to try some tacos and some empanadas. They are selling the empanadas. Apparently that's like their big thing. They're selling thousands and thousands by the day. So yeah, let's see what they got. Let's eat this. Spicy beef empanada. This is the first item. And this is a chimichurri sauce. I'm also here with my good friend, Steven. 
Steven has been a longtime friend of the channel and a personal friend here in the Dallas area. He's actually also a doctor. So in here it's a spicy beef, we have egg, we have a green olive in a pastry dough basically. That's amazing. That's amazing? I'm excited, this is hot. Let's give it a, let's give it a shot. Really good. Oh yeah. Woo! Incredibly rich beef, that fried pastry dough. Try a little bit of that chimichurri. What do you think, my friend? That dough is amazing. Flaky. Mm. Amazing. Mm. Mm. You get an incredible amount of herbs in there. You definitely get like that pesto, that bite. There's olives in this empanada as well. Might be him. Here we have the carne asada tacos. This is the other kind of uh, Mexican uh, specialty they have here. So we have a pico de gallo, the obviously carne asada, corn tortilla, a little bit of a, a cheese on there. And then we have, I also got some of their chili de arbo salsa. This is supposed to be picante. Ooh, woo! Oh yeah, there's a bit of heat to that. And then some of the salsa verde. This is like a um, serrano pepper. Ooh, flavorful, not spicy, really creamy. But that, let's give this a bite. Double corn shell, let's see what it's all about. Woo! Guacamole on there as well. That beef is so rich. Mm, the flavors. I really get almost like, I wanna say a little bit more like Argentinian vibes. I really like the two pairing they have here at this place. Tender beef. What about the Arbo? Just cause I like it a little spicy. Right, let's put it all on there. Guys, this looks amazing. That is a delicious, delicious taco. And these guys are operating not just at the fair, but look at that. Let's go, guys. That is a juicy taco. Heavenly. I approve. Next, I wasn't going to, but they insisted. This is their mole fries. This is what they um, actually was Guy Fury's famous. He came for a pulpo taco, and he ended up this being his favorite. So we have a house-made mole, obviously a French fry, which apparently is an Idaho potato. And then we have a crema fresca and a cheese, another cheese, uh, which looks pretty good. Fries is not normally my dish, but like I said, I'll give it a shot. So one thing I do love, I do love mole. So I got a little extra. I'm gonna dip that right on in here. Woohoo! oh my gosh, guys. Now that looks very delicious. That's my kind of bite, that's my kind of flavor right there. So let's see what it's all about. Oh, so the mole is not overly sweet, but you get those like, peanut, all those chili, the roundedness. I'm actually surprised. I thought this was gonna be incredibly, incredibly heavy, incredibly, incredibly like, I don't say overly rich, but it's very, very balanced actually. The uh, kind of, a little bit of the sourness from that cheese and that richness with that mole with the potato. I'm surprised, incredibly different than I expected. All right, so now we hopped on into what is called the tower building, which is a basically a big food court. It's not the best way I would describe it. And we're stopping outside Texas Holy. I noticed they have some barbecue. So of course, we're gonna try some barbecue. The new item this year for their barbecue items is a brisket banh mi, a barbecue Texas brisket banh mi. So I love barbecue, I love banh mi. It's like a Vietnamese sandwich, so let's see what that's all about. So we have the brisket banh mi, and I was wrong actually. So they served this since last year, and this is actually a big Tex finalist last year. They sold over 300 yesterday, so they're very, very popular. So we have a really nice kind of crispy looking bread on it. We have the pickled vegetables, the cucumbers, house-made smoked brisket, and they mix it with their uh, house-made barbecue sauce. I smell some barbecue, I do love barbecue. They also gave us some jalapenos, so let's put that right there. Let's give that a bite. I really like the flavor of the brisket. Lighter smoke, I'd say, for a brisket, but with that bread, the pickled vegetables, guys. A little sweets from the barbecue sauce, very nice. But shout out this bread, it's fantastic. If you're looking for like a heavy barbecue sandwich, this is definitely more of like a bon meat, but I like this a lot. I'd give it a shot. <laughs> And while we're in Texas, I had to get some barbecue, so I literally stepped outside that big food hall. And here we have Smokey John's Barbecue, so let's give this a shot. They were actually a finalist this year um, in the Big Tex Awards for a Ultimate Brookie Monster, which was a brookie, so a cookie brownie dessert. But I want to try some barbecue, guys. They got ribs, maybe we got some brisket. I love both those things. We are in Texas after all. I know they smoke it here, they just said. So uh, let's give it a shot, and... Oh, I've already drank one iced tea. 
Let's see how many we go through today. So here I got the rib platter. So we got some ribs, some jalapenos, pickles, bread, french fries, some of their extra house-made barbecue sauce, and then some of their lovely looking brisket. These look awesome, super hot and juicy. Woo -woo -woo. Let's give this a shot. Ooh, guys, I love brisket. I love ribs. I love barbecue. And this smells delicious. Got a really nice tanginess from that sauce. Oh, wow. Give me a minute. It is super tender. It's fall off the bone. It does have a good smoke on it, which I love from Texas style. That barbecue sauce just adds a little bit of sweetness, just a little bit of vinegar. Amazing. All right, then before I devour the rest of that freaking rib platter, let us try this brisket. So we got the chopped. Got a little bit of a, uh, this looks like a leaner portion. And then the uh, sliced and chopped. Let's give this a shot. Really nice and tender for a leaner portion especially. I get a good smoke on it. Not super heavy. So it's chopped. Mm. Definitely like some little more juices in that with that sauce. Try this uh, house-made barbecue sauce they make. This is what I call the ultimate just like in the middle sauce. Not overly acidic, not overly sweet. Here's a slightly fattier piece. Woo! Tender. Oh yeah, this is delicious. We came back to Texas Holy after we had some more real food. We are on to our first dessert. So we have the deep fried Rocky Road. So this is actually a deep fried fudge. Yes, I've never had a deep fried fudge before, but it's deep fried fudge. They do serve with a little ice cream, then it's topped with chocolate sauce, also a sweetened condensed milk, little candy marshmallows, and fairy dust, which is powdered sugar. And then we have candy pecans and walnuts in here as well. Steven. I'm excited. I normally don't eat sweets, but this, this is gonna be it. Steven's hopping back in for it, so here, man, you take take a bite. Find your bite. Right. Oh my gosh. Whoa. So look at the inside of that, everybody. That is ooey gooey fudge. Obviously, we have that kind of crispy batter. So like I said, I've had deep fried chocolate bars. I've never had deep fried fudge. First bite. Amazing. All right, I'm looking forward to trying this. Just look at that, everybody. All right. Let's give it a shot. I can't imagine it being bad. Oh my God. That fudge is so creamy. The way it melts, it's almost like really thick icing. I see why this is a finalist. She did say to try with the ice cream because most people do think of like a Rocky Road, probably Rocky Road ice cream. But apparently it's a European dessert, which actually was not ice cream. Look at there, look how that fudge is just gooing out that bottom. That is insane. But anyway. A little bit of everything, a little bit of cold ice cream, give that a shot. Wow, get this to share with your family. It is really rich, but it is damn good. Steven, try it with that ice cream. Oh yeah, the hot, cold. I'd recommend. All right, and so like this place really maintains its agricultural background. It started as like an exposition, like a livestock exposition. Guys, look at this pig. This guy is called Boris. Look how big this hog is, guys. So this doesn't do it justice, but Boris weighed 1,300 pounds. He was literally the size of a large cow, not even a small cow, a large cow, and he eats 20 pounds of food a day. Holy crap. Well, I tell you. I like pork. That's a lot of pork. Woo! I'm not gonna lie, guys. This is a lot of dang food, I'll tell you that much. Obviously, we're just kind of showing you quick clips before we kind of pick and eat more of it. But anyway, we're back at Fernie's Funnel Cakes. We were here the other day having a traditional funnel cake. Now we're here to try their dim sum burrito. Dim sum burrito. This was, again, I think like a big text choice award or something like that. I don't know what to expect. I'm assuming it's dim sum in a burrito, but let's go find out. So to my surprise, it's actually like an egg roll. So it is a carnitas. So a little bit of like a Tex-Mex slash Asian fusion going on. We have some potatoes. We have some onions in here. I believe there might be some something else. We're gonna find out. And then a little Texas flag. We have this little sauce they have. This is like a uh, bit of an Asian infused beef broth they said. And then we have some fried shishitos. So I'm gonna cut this open. Let's see what actually this looks like on the inside. There you go, guys. Ooh, yeah, I mean, it looks very much like an egg roll, but I like how they're calling it a burrito. It's very interesting, so. Oh, it does smell really, really good. 
Anyway, let's give it a shot. They said dip it in here, let's give it a dip. Here we go, guys, a dim sum loco burrito. Mm, definitely get that onion, the carnitas. It's a really soft, tender pork. The egg roll actually adds a really, dis like it's a very distinct flavor. Like if I were to serve this, I'd say it's more like an egg roll than a burrito, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It's actually really good. I'll try the shishito just because. Mm. Ooh, the two together. That's the key. Another feature on the Deep Fried Dynasty, we're at Vandalay Industries. So they are really well known here for having deep fried butter. Yes, we're finally gonna try deep fried butter, the food that will kill you. They're also known for having like deep fried peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, donuts, deep fried lobster. They actually have the most expensive item in the fair right now being the deep fried lobster. And they had giant pickles. So while I'm waiting for the items I ordered, which was a deep fried jambalaya, a deep fried butter, and a dough muff, which is a donut muffin mix, I got a pickle to try. Let me know down below if you like pickles. All right, let's get the food. First, the deep fried jambalaya. So this is a Cajun dish. We have a Cajun kind of mayonnaise on top, deep fried. I imagine it's rice and all this stuff in here. Served on some french fries, but let's give it a go. Mmm, smells really good, so let's give it a shot. Mmm, ooh. Cajun flavors, really nice rice in there, a bit of sausage. I'm impressed. Great Cajun flavor, very rich, good. Now an item everybody's been waiting for. We're about to try deep fried butter. So here is deep fried butter. Not what I was expecting. I was anticipating like, you know, a block of butter, a stick of butter deep fried. But what this is, is essentially, they take butter, they put it in a ball, so like a pure little butter ball, then they wrap it in like a dough or a pastry, and then fry it. Then they kind of put this little honey syrup on top, Looks like a little bit of, I don't know, that cinnamon, or sorry, salt or sugar. Let's see if I can give you a cross section. Of, let's get a bite. Oh my God. Okay. Well, you saw that butter drip. That may or may not be the best thing ever. Okay, let me just try to pop one of these all in my mouth because it literally is a, like, it's a ball of butter, guys. Give it a shot. Oh my God. You bite into it and a warm butter explosion. Warm pastry, that may be the best thing yet. Last but not least, because I haven't eaten enough food and food is definitely getting me, I'll tell you that much. Here we have the dough muff. So this is a donut covered in a muffin batter. We have a glaze on it, peanuts, pecans, strawberries. Give it a shot. Mmm, oh my gosh. It's a banana muffin batter, delicious fried dough. It is sweet, it is savory, but it really does taste like a warm kind of banana walnut muffin. Not gonna lie, that's damn good. I gotta say, actually, that butter was much better than I anticipated it being. I thought deep fried butter would just be like, I don't wanna say gross, but you know what I'm saying? But actually, it was very palatable. It was really good. Definitely a artery blocker. All those items are definitely artery blockers, but I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. All right, everybody, next stop, we're outside Backyard Steak Out Texas Barbecue and Urban Italian. So that's kind of an interesting combination. Why, I wanna try some barbecue, so let's go try some barbecue, and then I'll see what Italian they got. I haven't seen really much Italian options, so that's pretty cool. So uh, I see over here we've got some pulled pork. I like pulled pork, I haven't tried pork yet. And over here, I don't know, let's see what we like. All right, everybody, so sticking with that barbecue theme, I got some pulled pork. Nice portion of pulled pork, it looks really nice. So it is a slow smoked, got a barbecue sauce on it. Definitely a soft kind of traditional hamburger style bun. Let's give it a shot. Mm, that is a very like traditional style pulled pork. Nice bit of smoke on it, soft side bit of sweetness. I think it would serve all palates. And what else I really like about it is it's not overly fatty. It seems like a really nice, like you're getting really nice pieces of meat on that. I like that a lot, actually. Mm. And next, an item I didn't really, okay. 
how do I put this? I didn't know what to expect. And it was Italian, right? So we went and tried Italian. And uh, they sort of tried these meatball sliders. And man, I'm glad I did. These are the absolute biggest thing. Look at that. We got some gooey, sticky mozzarella. We have that marinara. Huge, huge, huge meat. Huge lamb meatballs on a lovely looking, almost like, I don't know, maybe brioche style bun. Let's give this a try. And these are called sliders. And this was a great value for the portion of yeah. Big bite. Mmm. Woo, really tastes that lamb. Very nice and nice sweetness. Very savory, juicy meatball. A little bit like Italian spices in there. Just look at that. I appreciate how big that is. This is a buy. Try a little bit more of this marinara sauce because I love that. That was absolutely so delicious. Honestly, the extra sauce wasn't even needed. This is impressive. And shout out for the value. City jokes up on this pole, so welcome to the Midway Barker Show. Yeah! Yeah, see? Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes, of course, yeah. yeah. That's the whole show, though. The rest of the show, I'm stuck in a pole. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. And we have had so, so, so much rich, heavy foods, fried foods, all the above. I need some health. And rumored there is one place around here that has some healthy options. Guys, we're in front of Fruteria Cano, Fruteria Cano. Here they have, well, fruits, vegetables, and not only just fruits and vegetables, but they have like mango pops, they have piña, con uh, chamoy, and tahini, and all that stuff. So let's get some fruit, let's get some veggies, get some health in our lives, and I'll show you what I'm gonna get. So I got some jicama con pepino, some cucumber and jicama. Jicama's kind of like a root vegetable, and I covered it in basically like tahini and or like salt chili. I love that stuff. And for my fruits, I have some melon, con viña, con sandilla, aka watermelon, pineapple, and cantaloupe, which they had, again, the same thing. I put the salted chili on it, kind of like tahini, but they also have chamoy. They had like, you know, any just plain salt, lime, anything you wanted. I love fruits and vegetables. Mm. Let me know down below if you've ever had salted chili on fruit. It is the best thing ever. The little bit of kind of sweetness with that salt, and that little bit of chili, it makes this kind of really almost umami experience in your mouth. Mm. And the fruits are so ripe, best thing ever. And this is so refreshing after eating all those fried and heavy foods, that's for sure. Exactly what I needed in my life. In addition to the probably like four iced teas and multiple Diet Dr. Peppers I've had. Try some pepino or some cucumber. And I love this salt chili, basically tahini stuff. Oh, almost lost it there. Same thing, so crisp and fresh. That was exactly what I needed. But for the sake of time, the only piece of jicama I could get, just a little one. So like I said, this is, if you've never had it, it's just so crunchy. It's almost like a, uh, kind of like a radish. There's a really nice bitterness to it. Kind of guess this way to describe it. Similar to a radish. Very good, oh, and real quick. I can reach the pineapple, I think. I won't be able to reach the watermelon yet, but lovely piece of juicy looking ripe pineapple. Pineapple's my favorite fruit, by the way. What's your favorite fruit? Mm. Oh my gosh. Woo. Chili, salt, pineapple. I love it. So when it comes to the Big Tech's Choice Awards, there's also a few places that got drinks. This is gonna be the first blue, Big Tech's Choice Award drink we're gonna try. It's called a Blue Bonnet. I believe it's, well, Blue Bonnet is the flower of Texas. I think it's kind of like a rendition of lemonade. And while I'm here, I haven't had a turkey leg yet. A very, 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 very classic fair food. And look at this, guys. Why I'm gonna try it here. It says Milton's Turkey Leg. Milton's Turkey Leg with a trademark sign. So if they can, put a trademark sign behind the turkey leg. There must be something special to it. So let's find out. Blue Bonnet, so they described it as a blueberry citrus drink. So we got a little blueberry stick here. The lime, let's go now. Blueberries. Let's give this a try though. Ooh, incredible.
incredibly, incredibly sweet. All right, I really do get that the strong blueberry note. The way I bit the blueberries, it added just an excellent extra blueberry note, if that makes sense. Definitely get citrus. It seems like there's a light carbonation to it. There's a little bit of like a lemon, some kind of a syrup going on in there. But I tell you what, like I said, the fact this won a big tax for a drink is super, super, super uncommon. Ooh, that's a lemon. And this is delicious. Trademarked Milton's turkey leg. So apparently it is smoked and then slow like roasted or rendered. So it should just fall apart. I've only recently had my first ever turkey leg. This is only my second turkey leg and I've never, won, I've never had one at a fair before. So we're gonna change that right now. But again, this is the one that has a trademark on it. So diving in that, ooh, that is a tender, juicy. Wow, look at the way that just falls apart, guys. That is a good bite. Let's give it a try. Mm, very, very, very moist. The lady recommended either try it with barbecue sauce or mustard. Try some barbecue sauce. She said this is the Texas way when in Texas. That's like a sweet baby razor or something. That was a good sauce, good taste of turkey leg. Not a lot of smoke to it. I think some like, I'm like hot sauce. Hot sauce in this would be also really good. I just love hot sauce, bro. Turkey leg, guys, the Milton's trademark turkey leg. Well, everybody, 517 has been 24 hours and 50 minutes we have spent at the park. We have eaten basically straight. Well, 24 hours and 40 whatever, 50 minutes since we start eating at the park. You know what I'm saying? Guys, so we have hit up, I don't know how many places here, a lot of places. We've had a lot of food items to say the least. I'm very full. A lot of these are so heavy, so rich. And man, we have eaten a lot. You know, even though like I said, we didn't show you at all, man, we ate a lot of those items. So. And that, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Huge thanks to De Visit Dallas, the State Fair. Huge thanks to the city of Dallas, guys. I like Dallas. This is an amazing place. It's 270 some acres. This is nuts. Technically, I could come back later this evening. We'll see how I feel. But if not, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. This is amazing. The State Fair is definitely a spectacle to appreciate, and I appreciate it. So that, everybody, of course, the next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, have a lovely day. Stop by the mattress firm booth, guys. We're in the chiropractic chairs. These are basically the utmost extreme massage chairs possible. We're trying them out. They're only a mere eight thousand dollars, but Oscar is getting spread out right now. That sounds weird. Don't take that in the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, and uh, I'm about to do the same. So let's see what it's all about. Everything from your your feet, your legs. Oh, my feet are going. Okay, I'm gonna put my arm. Oh, wow. wow. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down so I can enjoy a massage, guys. We'll let you know how it is. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.